Okay, so Niti asked me today to read something spontaneously. I choose verse number 62 of Vilapa Kusumanjali. So we are reading Shri Shri Vilap Kusumanjali by Srila Raghunathas Kuswami with the nectar comment of Sri Anantadas Babaji Maharaj. Verse 62. Prakshaya pada kamale kushale pravista Natva brajesa mahisi prabruti guru sta Ha kurvati rasavatim rasabakadatvam Samachaya sikada sukasagarema O Kushale, beautiful, auspicious girl, you are an expert cook. After I washed your lotus like feet, you enter into the kitchen and offer your obeisances to the Queen of Praja, other superiors. <clears throat> when will you drown me in an ocean of bliss by doing this? Notes. In his Swarup Avesh, Sri Raghunath has a vision of his devotional service. And when the vision vanishes, he prays, I Kushale. O all auspicious Swamini, when will you enter the kitchen after washing your feet and offering your obeisances to Brajeshwari Yashoda and other superiors? The maid servant changes Srimati's clothes and ornaments and dresses her in clothes that are fit for use in the kitchen. Sri Raghunath clearly perceives this pastime. So everyone feel free to share, no? Suniti, Goranga Sunda. If anything coming to you, please. <laughs> you Say. are coming to us, Chachi. Um, <clears throat> so Radharani has to change her clothes when she wants to cook. When she goes outside, she is like a princess. She is full ornamented. But it's not comfortable to work in the kitchen. So she takes off many things and heavy sari. And she dresses in light clothes, more comfortable for cooking. And also, it's more transparent clothes, not so fully covered. No shawl in the face, no? open hair, little. More sweet to see also. Swamini's form. Mm. 
Yeah. Raghunath clearly perceives this pastime. During visualization, it appears as if it is directly happening. But after the vision subsides, one considers, oh, that wasn't real. It was just a vision. Then, with piteous cries, one prays again. Then the meditation appears again as if it is directly happening. In this way, the Lila Smaran gradually continues. When Srila Raguna Taskoswami has a vision of Leela and when it disappears, he thinks, oh, it was just a dream. It was just such a beautiful thing that actually it could not be real. <laughs> it's impossible that that was real. It was too beautiful. <laughs> So, but what to do if you experience something that is more beautiful than you ever experienced before? You immediately want to get it back. And no other thing can give relief from this feeling of separation not being there now. So he immediately cries to have darshan again. Therefore, we can say that Raghunath Das Goswami, he never is in bodily consciousness. On one side, he is in the Leela, in his Swarupa Vesh, as Tulasi Manjari. And when he comes out, he not come in bodily consciousness. He always remember, I am Dasi of Radharani. And immediately he want to go back there. So he is never in bodily consciousness. It's only he is aware of the Leela or not. But identification is always, I am Swamini's Dasi. When a sensitive devotee hears and recites this, he will think, Aho, blessed is Sri Das Goswami. He was totally free from bodily consciousness when he fell on the bank of Radha Kund, the crown jewel of Braja. And he was blessed <clears throat> with the full vision of the greatly swelling sweetness of the divine couple 
day and night. The sweetness of the divine kapil is always swelling, become bigger, because the absorption of Raghunath becomes deeper and deeper. As more as he prays, as more his own desire of service is growing, as more his visions become more clear. It's like a magnetic power. So that is important for us. When our desire is growing, also our feelings will grow. The reply, the response of Radha Mohan will also be more intense. So, therefore, greed is important. And the sweetness of Radha Mohan will always grow and swell endlessly. And he was blessed with the full vision of the greatly swelling sweetness of the divine couple day and night. Will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath by his grace? So what is the mercy that we desire? The mercy is that the bath is coming. The mood should come. That is the mercy that we need from sadhu, from guru. If we pray for mercy means, please Guru Dev, make your feelings, transfer your feelings into my heart also. How we can beg for it by doing service. No? I do some service and I beg to receive something. That is service building the bridge to the heart of Gurudev and kindly he will give his feelings into our heart. Right, Gurudev? Right. Right. Will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath by His grace, Raghunath Goswami's grace? Shri Kavi Kanapura teaches in Alankara Kaustuba. A V bath causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. Although perhaps Sri Das Goswami is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts, making them fit 
for such desires to fructify in them. The more the devotees hear and read the words of Das Goswami, the more the seed of their dormant love of God will fructify in them. This is the effect that Vibhav has on the listener. So we always say Sadhu Sangha is important for us. By Sadhu Sangha, we get the mood of the Sadhu, of Guru. But here clearly is said that we have Sangha association of Raghunath Asko Swami when we read Vilap Kusumanjali, his prayers, if we listen that, that is also kind of direct association. Because the Bhav is in the words. And when we listen that, that mood, feelings also come to us. When this Bhav is transferred to us, it's called Vibhav. And Govachandaji, I... Sorry? Please. <laughs> I just thought that now we are listening the words of, of Raghunath Das Goswami in the verse, but also we we get the feelings of Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj and we hear the, the feelings of our Gurudev and we hear the feelings of so many other exalted uh, Vaishnavas, you know, Dasis that are really going deep. So we are blessed in many ways and like this, the swelling also happens in my heart. Even if I just have a drop of this feeling of appreciation that is a powerful um, exchange and also powerful um, injection yeah I just wanted to say I always think it's a miracle that over all these translations still the mood coming to us original is in Sanskrit slokas Raghunathas writing, then somebody translating into Bangla, from Bangla translated to English, <laughs> mm -hmm. and we read that. Now devotees get translation maybe also to Japanese <laughs> and German, but still it's there. Feelings are there. It's a miracle, I think. Huh? But main thing is Guru. Without shelter of Guru Dev, the door is locked. I can read Vilap Kusumanjali, comments of Anantaras, Babaji, everything. But I need shelter of Guru Dev. He opened that and then Raghunath's words and Anantaras' words can flow to me. I think that is still crucial. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. If I say something. Hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> Gorachandra, you, you read this nice word, uh, line, Vibhava causes dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of devotees who have similar feelings. 
I just wanted to stop here on this line because somehow it's very in one way clearly but in another way very <laughs> hidden way also emphasizing pointing out few things and of the line is a similar feeling sajatya we need sajatya sangha if we want that all this uh, dormant desires be awakened in the heart and the beginning of the line is vibhava causes the dormant desires you explained what does it mean vibhava and also i can say that vibhava it means i know my goal vishaya and i know ashraya who is the shelter of love to the object of love usually krishna is vishay and devotee is ashraya he is a treasure he is keeping his love in his heart this all together some acharyas are calling vibhav because this without this vibhav rasa cannot exist we have we should have the goal ishtade and we should also know who is the most loving prominent devotee who has a shrine in his heart and we want to follow in that same mood so in our case the goal and devotee has to be clear and we know that krishna is usually the goal and radhika is the reservoir of all love which ashraya shelter of all love in gora lila they exchange the mood <laughs> they exchange the mood and krishna became the goal and radhika and he took his mood her mood sorry her mood because only from the position of ashraya of devotee he can relish the object of love but in also another thing is that in gora lila the goal is love and the way to attain this goal is also love maybe it can sounds complicated but our acharyas are helping us to understand gora lila radha krishna lila in vrindavan and then take our stai bhava our fixed position where is our place in that lila and our acharyas are helping us to wake up dormant love in the heart dormant love which is situated in jiva in 
association, Sajatya Sangha, of those who are already on that level, who are already relishing this, and also those who are practicing like we, Sadakas, are doing this. So by reading these books, we are coming to the Vibhava, which is helping us through the emotions of Nitya Siddhas to wake up our dormant love and take a strong position, Staiba, according, following their footsteps, following their feelings. And then, by following their feelings, like you said, dormant love will slowly, gradually appear in the heart of Sadaka, who knows what he wants and who knows what is his goal. And then, these Vaishnavas can water the seed because they already put Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhakti Lata Beach, they put in the heart of those who has a similar feelings. And then they can water slowly, slowly, that this small plant, small seed, become higher and higher and higher and ultimately attain personification of bhakti lata because one of her name is bhakti lata wine of devotion So, Baba is saying, like you read, already read, maybe he cannot be able to awaken to listener emotions to the same extent as he has. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. In my case, it's for sure. <laughs> but he can, by listening to him, following his mood, his emotions, his bhava, we will end, like Sunitiji said, Anantadas Babaji, Gurudev, all those great personalities, they can water our small seed. And it means anugatya, following emotions with our emotions, not so outside imitation. <laughs> following emotion with emotion, then the dormant love, pure love, in the heart will naturally, like bhakti lata, from the seed will grow, grow. And go and go. So it came to me while you were reading <laughs> like this, and thank you very much. I'm sorry if I made mistakes. <laughs> Please correct me. I think it's a beautiful idea. Yes. Beautiful explanation. Very nice. I Actually, I had to translate the word dormant. I don't know the German meaning, so I had to translate what is the meaning of dormant. So then I understand that. And I understand that there's a potential in our heart 
to love God, no? for devotion. The potential is there. But I was a little doubtful because the soul is created, but bhakti is not inside the soul consciousness. Bhakti is always a gift. It is given. But now we are reading there's a dormant desire for devotion in the heart. And you clear my doubt, Gora, Goranga Sunda, by saying that this seed is also given by Guru. Guru putting the seed in the heart, then the potential is there. The seed is always the potential of becoming a tree. And then it needs the water. That is the words of Raghunath, na? watering, watering, like that. So you clear my, my doubt about there's a dormant desire in the soul? No. <laughs> this desire for bhakti is also given by the mercy of Guru. So one word is in Chaitanya. This words, the song comes like this. Chakshudan Devaji, soul was there, his seed was there, but I was not conscious of that. Chakshudan Devaji, Janame Janame Prabhu say, that is my, who give me this reason to see that eyes to feel that. They began the divine knowledge more on with this soul on the way which way to bring that to their production. And he showed me that the soul and super soul knowing and to develop the relation and where to get the relation to get your saru. This they began, they right way he showed us. They began with the Prem Bhakti, when the love will come in my saru paves, all Abhidhya Vinas, I think. When that love of my Sarup will start exchanging, then my all ignorance Abhidhya will finish. Vedegai Jahara Charitra Vedas are explaining the all its literature and book is explaining about that. That is the showing away of the work of our Guru Dev, Guru Manji. Can I also say something to it? Yeah. I'm a Suniti and me, we are also gardener. We have one garden and sometime we also have to plant the tree. Maybe there is a seed, there is water, but if we plant the tree on stones, what will happen? Maybe it grows fast, but then finished. So we need good earth for, for growing the tree. Then the water will have success. So what is the meaning here? If we put the seed and we have a 
not melted heart. The heart is not ready to get it. It will not grow. This is happen if we live in the false ego and in the mind. We get everything. We get the guru. We get the inspiration. But the Bhakti Lata Beach will not grow because we have a heart of stone. But if the heart is prepared nicely, then every word of the Guru will help to grow this tree. So this is our part. If we have the soft heart by good, what to say, Sukritis, and so on, then it will work. We can see in our life, many get it or got it, but maybe they start and then finish. And the plant will not be coming up and also getting fruits after some time when it's growing. A nice tree has to become roots. And others are growing, others not. And that depends on the good earth one has when it's a soft hearted person and open for the words of the Guru. So, three things. One more. <laughs> The rest of us are going to make something. <coughs> now, the word we have. Sit here. The one chair here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the word we have uh, uh, has three meanings or three components. One is Udikana. Um, <clears throat> but Thakur, in his song, uh, Radha Kunda Tata, he's telling, O oh, Raj, Yavarna, Radha Kunda, Yamuna, cows, trees, everything, peacocks, shuka, sari, all they are Udipanas. That is just increasing love. Mm. And they are so dear to the divine couple. And to me, I never leave it. Mm. And what you told now, the ground must be. Shmatelika told Mehraman Vindavan and Nartanta wrote in his uh, song, Tomara Hrida Sada Govinda Vishram. Raise Govinda Vishram, special news in your heart because it's written down. Mm. Then our heart will be. Garden means garden, garden house. Bring down then divine couple coming because it's a place for you. Yeah. So Goranga Sonda, he explained that we bhav can only work when we when the bhav of Raghunath Das Goswami finds a heart that is in the same mood. It is important. His feelings as a manjari will not enter heart with a different mood. Yeah. Therefore, Ranga Sundara explained, it's important to know our Ishtadev. Yeah. Where we take shelter, what is our goal, that has to be clear. Otherwise, 
the feelings of the sadhu of Raghunathas cannot transfer it in my heart. Yeah. And I want to make it simple to understand that for us as Manjaris, Radharani is everything. <laughs> we invite the bhakti, we take shelter of God, we pray to God, and our goal is also God realization, generally speaking. Ashray and Vishay, our shelter and our goal is God, both ways. In Raga Bhakti, we start following the way of love. We take shelter of the love. We want to have a loving relationship with the God. Like the mother of Yashoda, her goal is Krishna to serve him with love. She takes shelter of love, but her goal is still Krishna. Ashraya is love, Radharani, but Vishay goal is Krishna. That and Raga Bhakti going up to Gopi Bhav, Sakhi Bhav. Gopi is also love is the way, but Krishna is the goal. <laughs> so only Manjari Bhav. No. Only Manjari is uh, the way is love and the goal is love. We follow Radharani and also she is our goal, not Krishna's our goal. So it's not difficult. Radharani is everything. Our shelter and our goal. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Right, Goranga Sunda? Right, thank you very much that you explained to me also. You explain. You explain. And then this Udipana is important. Which Udipana? Yeah. Stimulation. I want to listen, to meditate. Udipana stimulations which brings me only to Radhika and to increase my Manjaviba, Staiba. Then Udipan is Radhika's Kishori age. And her lover also, Kishore. I want to serve. Kishore is Kishore. And for this Madhurya, Paraki above, it's very important to know, to be aware, sorry, to be aware about the age of Radha and Mohan. And this age is one of the Udipan. What is? <laughs> what stimulates. When I, <laughs> when I think on their age, 14, 15 years, Kishore, Kishori, then their Parakya Bhava is in culmination. So in this way, the age is one just small one. Udipan. Stimulation for all Rasa. Radhi. One time Gurudev explained something very beautiful about the importance of the age of Radharani. On Radhastami last year, I think, 
we doing Leela, no? Drama with Kishori organizing and we dress up like Brits Basis and we play Nanda Baba and Yashoda and little Krishna, they come to house of Brishad Banu and they see first time little Radharani like this, no? But Gurudev explained actually as a Manjari, for us Radharani is always in Kishore age. It never changed. That is in our style bath. We not think about little baby Radharani and little baby Krishna. We do in Sadak Deha, the drama, the Leela taking part, having a nice day to make Radharani happy. But in Swarup consciousness, never change. Radharani age of 14 years, two months. So when we inside celebrate birthday of Radharani, we think, oh, we are with our Swamini today and she has a birthday party today and we have a party today. Yeah? But we never see like a baby or something. The way how it's important to know Ishtadev in proper age, in proper mood, by listening those who are situated in this mood. Because Yashoda, for her Udipan, is small Krishna, little Krishna. She doesn't care. She doesn't want to see him like a teenager. Because it will little be ruin her bath, and it's not natural for her, because she is situated in an ocean of motherly love. <coughs> so we just touch little bit, also in Varshane, also in different situations, but we always have to be very, very clear about what is the goal and what is Parakyaba following Rupa Manjari and others. Yeah. Now we understand also why Radhika is cooking. Because Yashoda Ma's preparations will be different. I will be for a baby. <laughs> so she needs Radhika for the mm -hmm. special ingredients of her bath, of her mood, to reach this Krishna. This is the reason why Radhika is called Rasa Vati. When she's cooking, she's expert in cooking, but she's expert in one more cooking. <laughs> Krishna's heart. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. I have one question. Everything is Udipan, like uh, everything in Vrindavan is nourishing the amorous feelings and mood of Radha Mohan. Whatever she sees, she remembers Krishna and pastimes with him, the birds, the flowers, the bees, everything. But does she need that stimulus? On the other hand, I listen that actually she is Prema Rupa. Her mood is manifested outside. 
her he she sees everything with the eyes of prem so automatically from her inside her prem is reflected everywhere and everywhere she looks she sees only him and remembers him so what is the meaning of udipan for adaran maybe we need the stimulus to remember ourselves but rather rani maybe it's a reflection of her prem that she perceives you understand my question <laughs> please uh, yeah. speak on that someone would they say something what is coming in my mind and my heart <laughs> is actually that if we are looking radhika if we speak about radhika and her beautiful relationship with krishna only from the point of prema shakti prema like energy khladini shakti we will not come on the platform of rasa or exchange of love but if we understand that there are persons who are embodiment of love and embodiment of rasa they need stimulances also to make intense their relationship mm -hmm. so because of this intensity of relationship which they are hankering to be always new and new and new and new for example the wind is blowing and this is udipam for radhika because wind will carry the moshus from mohan's body into her nostrils this stimulates her mahabhava to to come to the point of madana mahabhava that the waves of her mahabhava become even higher and higher and higher and in opposite side the same wind can carry the smell of mahabhava swarupini jay shirati directly to the nostrils of her lover and he will faint because of that so because of rasa these udipanas like you said my dear brother i love you so much this wind this sound this smell all these different ingredients is helping to intensify rasa and we cannot put all in the level of the gyana of the knowledge of information on the tatva on the shakti or uh, is just explanation for the mind and intellect but it, the rasa is completely madness of love <laughs> so this is my explanation yeah very beautiful my dear it comes to me really i'm sorry because yeah. it's But feeling
Gurudev, you are watering this. And now food. thinking about manjaris, what they are doing. <laughs> they always put more gasoline in the fire. <laughs> this is their only service to increase the feelings. Put more. <laughs> and you said so nice that they are persons. They have feelings. The feelings changes, no? And the art of service is always to bring the feelings more up, more up. And Manjari is always ready to throw more gasoline in the fire <laughs> for this. This is why they are expert service, Seva Rupaya. No one can do it in such an expert way. Seva Rupaya, who is living because of Seva, and each pore of Manjaris is Seva, loving Seva for beloved Radhika and her lover. <laughs> that. <coughs> I want to give my Vara Chandra a chance to see me also. Because we kind of often forgot. <laughs> you stopped calling, by the way. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a fun such a beautiful uh, exchange now, and uh, this question also of course, Sandra, of course, is there to, to trigger, to steer, to intensify the Rasik exchange, which is now happening, and making Gurudev happy, and uh, Gurunga Sura also like, explained it so beautifully with the example of the wind, and then I was thinking like, um, why the divine couple needs all this paraphernalia? why they need everything in the Raja Lila, you know, to increase, intensify the flavors of their loving pastimes. And then I was thinking, wow, they're so merciful. Even the wind can do seva, right? Even the kukuma powder can do seva. You know, even the, the leaves, when they make the noise, when the Radhika is arriving with the girlfriends and the leaves already announcing her arrival, they can do seva. And Kuranga Sundar said, no, this is your seva rupa. Everything is made for serving them. Every single detail of the Brajadila is made for service. So, and of course, on the top of the seva ladder are the monuments. <laughs> most fortunate are we that we can that we can be there and uh, be so close in our intimate service to the divine couple so this was just a, a small uh, thing but the main reason was that god's american see me <laughs> <laughs> This is all so beautiful and uh, right now. Every single grass is doing seva in Vrindavan, and the topmost seva is to bring the enjoyer and the source of bath together. Then Rasa is coming. Without to bring them together, it will not happen. And this is the service of the Manjaris. And this is the highest. And to understand this, this book is so important and the teaching of our Guru Dev, that we have a very important service to do, to bring the enjoyer and Mahabhav together. And then, it happened. And we take part of this highest meeting.
I have a, a, an example. When we have a wedding here in Munger Mandir, like our Gora Chandra had a couple of years ago, uh, I'm using you as an example. So what happened at this wedding? Of course, they could exchange their garlands in front of the temple and exchange the rings. Okay, nice. But no, what did happen? A prashadam feast was arranged. Flower decoration were arranged. The bride was nicely painted. Shringar were put on. Gorachandra was even dressed nicely. <laughs> it was a, uh, and they came, the excitement, he was waiting, he was waiting for his bride to arrive. He was walking up and down the Prashadam Hall, and we were saying, wait, wait, she's coming soon. Then he was waiting. We prepared the chairs. Everything was, every ingredient was so important for, for them to relish that moment. So similarly, if we can imagine how the divine couple is happy, when we all arrange this for their pleasure and we take care of all the details and not let them be alone. Rather than <laughs> Even the kunja was prepared by Rasa Lila and <laughs> <laughs> they put some flowers everywhere. <laughs> like, wow. Yes. So this is Udipan. <laughs> Flowers, music, atmosphere, whatever increase love is ingredients which is from for rasa, for exchange of love, whatever. And Majaris are most expert in making such atmosphere with pictures with arrangements of flowers, with arrangements of everything, the air which is going on, just to stimulate more and more and more emotions in loving couple. Actually, the word Shringara itself means decorating and also to beautify and to increase. <laughs> So Shringa Rasa means always to make more beautiful and increase, increase, increase. Make it more and more and more. Shringa. One day we are reading with Gurudev Stavavali, prayers of Raghunath. Das Goswami. And there is one verse coming where Raguna Das Goswami start glorifying Leelas with the Gopars and the Gopis at Govardhan. Then the question came why Raguna Das Goswami now <laughs> speaking about Sakas and Gopis and like this. So then Anantaras Babaji explained that actually all Vrindavan, all Rasas, all relations that exist in Vrindavan, everything in Vrindavan is meant to increase the amorous love of Radha and Krishna. If we think of a good movie in this world, a good story needs also good background. No? His family, her family, his friends. If there's only Krishna, how he can be the most beautiful? How he can be the superhero? If he cannot be compared with other Gopas? So all these things, Sakaba, Patsaya Rasa, being a prince and the princess, everything is only exists to increase the love of Radha and Krishna. That was explanation of 
अनंतराज बाबा जी एंड गोपीनाथ सो नाइस से इवन द लीव्स एंड द ट्रीज दे सर्व न बाय मेकिंग साउंड द विंड कैन सर्व Every flower is doing service. Pura baaj. Yesterday we were reading, jingling, sweet jingling of the ankle bells. This sweet sound, nectarian sweet sound. of radicals ankle bells nupura but what baje nupura baje song i forgot from where this song but is <laughs> this is udipan that Read more. Now we going in the lila. The maid servants came and washed Radha's lotus feet with cold water. They wiped her feet that are very tender. like land lotuses with soft towels and then this princess sat down with rohini to cook all the sakis hand her the ingredients and rai shekara hands her the ghee mata rohini also blesses shri radha as if she is her own daughter saying o daughter of mine you are a very good cook cook whatever you like hearing mother rohini's words swamini shyly bows her head down the kinkaris change swamini's regular dress and ornaments for a dress suitable for cooking affectionately mother rohini sees primati close to the stove on a golden chair covered with a white sheet the fire is burning on cheddar aloe and pine wood and all the ingredients are lying before swamini handed to her by a maid servant whenever she needs any a verse from krishna bhava namrita 
sometimes Swamini checks whether the fire is burning well or not. Sometimes she lifts the lid from the cooking pot to see if the preparation is cooked. Sometimes she adds some spices and sometimes she steers the preparation with a spoon. While she does that, her three-lined belly, breasts, arms and shoulders are moving along and cause her to shine constantly with matchless sweetness. Tulasi says, You are Rasa Vati, an expert cook, or a girl full of spiritual flavor. And now you plunge me into an ocean of bliss, filling up the whole kitchen with spiritual flavor also. What is spiritually relishable in that kitchen? Shyam Sundara finished his bath and had himself dressed and now he sits down in his bhajan kutir to repeat the name of Radha and to meditate on the Radha mantra. His mother and father had him initiated into Narayan Mantra by Bhaguri Muni. For Gopal's own benefit, Madhya Shoda says, Go Gopal, practice your mantra in your Bhajan Kuti. Krishna sits down and thinks, whose mantra shall I practice? Chaitanya Charitamrita. No one in the world can possibly be more qualified than me. I only experience that in Sri Radha. Therefore, Krishna meditates on Sri Radha, his eternally beloved goddess. Shripad Prabodhananda Saraswati writes in Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. With his eyes filled with tears of love, Lord Hari always repeats the two most tasteful syllables, Radha and meditates on the spiritual effulgence of her lotus feet, like the king of yogis in a temple in a kunja on the bank of the Yamuna.
Saki, who told me this name Radha? Hearing it, I felt my heart was soothed. How much sweetness is there in that name? It filled my ears with nectar. How many names aren't there in Gokul? None of them agitated me like this one. When her form manifests itself in my heart, it is as if I reside in an ocean of nectar. Yadunandan's mind weeps. When I see her, my eyes are fulfilled. No other consort is so fortunate. Krishna can forget everything, but not her. This is the Lord we worship. He is Leela Vilasi, a playful enjoyer. The killing of demons and other worldly duties are performed by Lord Vishnu. He performs these duties through Krishna's hands. Krishna mm -hmm. Kore Vishnu Dware Asura Sambara Chaitanya Charitamrita Krishna is the carefree dear Lalita hero enjoying in every kunja with Sri Radha. Playing and playing, he infuses his prema in the trees and vines. He revives the old and dry trees and causes the rocks to melt with his flute song. We will not see our worshipable Lord outside of his pastimes. Radhe? Can we stop? Because few points catch my heart. And it's very significant, actually, that in this, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna is saying, no one is qualified than me. And I only experience that in Sri Radha. So with his own words, he is saying that even his different manifestations, avatars, 
like Narayan and so on and so on, are not qualified like him. So although his parents gave him the mantra of Narayan for his protection, parents are doing this. He is still in doubt and is thinking, why should I chant the name of Narayan when he is inferior to me? And sitting in the room, he said, only Radhika is actually more qualified than me. And this is the reason why I want to be immersed in the ocean of her name. And now we are one words, word from this Chaitanya Charitamrita, you can see my brother. For 241 words. Anubhav. You? In the beginning, we're, we were talking about Vibhav. And now we can see how Baba is expertly putting another ingredient of rasa, Anubhav. Expression of love. So Krishna is very aware that ex because of expressions of love of Radhika, her Anuba, that she is even more qualified and more experienced than him. And because of such expressions of Radhika, of her Anubas, outside expressions of love, he wants to feel her feelings because he is witnessing it. He sees how she is very eager to serve him to give him a pleasure. And when Radhika is dancing, when Radhika is singing, when Radhika is cooking, she is expressing her Anubha. So we have all ingredients of rasa. Baba is putting in this beautiful commentary, always glorifying the supreme, sublime position of Srimad <laughs> And <clears throat> when we say in the beginning, Tulasi say, you are Rasavati, expert cook, but also it means you are a girl full of, like Baba said, spiritual flavor. This is the hidden talk. Parakya Bhava conversation with Swamini. In one sense, on one level, Rasavati means good cook, expert cook. Because they are all together in underground. <laughs> and all superiors are around. And someone can hear this name and this glorification, and he will not be doubtful. He will say, oh yeah, Manjari is glorifying Swamini, like a good cook. But behind this addressing Rasavati is actually it, their codes. 
shifras, I don't know, codes. Parakya Bhava talks. You are not only expert cook, you're all form, all your appearance is bringing the flavor, bringing the rasa in the kitchen. You are cooking with your love and you are putting your Mahabhava in that food, in that fire, different kinds of fire. I don't know what people who are ecologic will say now, but here is different three types of woods, which brings the special taste for the cooking. And Radhika is so expert Rasavati in cooking, that she knows which preparation has to be put on cedar, on pine, or what is aloe, because the taste, smell. of this preparation will come to the Krishna's mouth. And this is why I really think maybe I'm wrong. Also why he's in the beginning of the words, he is saying, oh, kushale, auspicious girl. You are auspicious because you want to give all auspiciousness to your lover. Kusha means kusha grass or kusha auspiciousness. So we can see how Manjari is very, very clever and expert in talking with Radhika. That in the presence of elders, she is addressing Ora Savati. Expert cook, but she is thinking, you are a girl full of spiritual flavors. And your lover will taste these spiritual flavors. And no one can understand in the kitchen who is not in that mood. This is Parakya Bhava talk, conversation, which we can relish by listening the drops of the nectar from the, our beautiful Acharyas. And they are cooking also our hearts. <laughs> like Gurudev, if you remember, I was giving example of the rice, cooking the rice. <laughs> so Acharyas are cooking our hearts, our ego, our materialistic mind, so that we can relish Radhika's cooking and Manjari's cooking for us. and cooking is a rasa. The rice gets the rasa of Radhika, then it will go for cooking, to, to offer to Krishna. Ordinary rice, direct rice, but nobody can eat. Mm. So she is the real book who teach us how to put rasa in the any item to be 
useful rather than burn that every place 24 7 you can meditate in every every circumstance In this example, Goranga Sundar just gave, we can also see <clears throat> what we were talking in the beginning. Rohini sitting near, but she cannot catch the mood. What is going on? She has a different heart of motherly love. So she cannot catch The spiritual flavor, I mean, Tulasi Manjari is saying, not only you cook nicely and there's so good smell of your preparations you are cooking, but the kitchen now also full of spiritual flavor. <laughs> what is meaning of that? Radharani, she is an ecstasy of cooking for the lover and the bath is so high and Manjari already in ecstasy. <laughs> but Rohini cannot get it because her heart is different. Surprise. And then, Dora Chandra, <laughs> you surprise me. I know you, you <laughs> jammer. You are running away, person. <laughs> Everybody knows about your nature. <laughs> you run away. You become tired. <laughs> My God. I think Japan is your sadhana study. You're realizing more there. My blessing. My love. Always with you. Wow. You see, without that feeling, Mother Rohani is sitting, but they cannot understand that. Wow. I mean, my daddy, who want to be a Radha Dasi, they can feel it and understand that. So the luckiest souls are those Come to Vrindavan. Today I am listening. Sachinandan Baba. He is talking. Vrindavan Krishna struck to the, the Yoga Maya. Cover to Vrindavan. Mahamaya cannot enter here. I was surprised. Here Mahamaya entry is not there. Is all yoga maya and Vrindavan. But all the world is covered by Mahamaya. You go out of Vrindavan, Mahamaya will catch you. But you come in in Vrindavan, everyone will say you how to realize it, how to feel it, how to do it. Life make easy and peaceful. If I desire for that, if there is no greed for that, no desire for that, you will never interfere in Vrindavan. Thank you. You become really beautiful. What is your idea, Jananda Maharaj? Sitting, but you are not sharing anything. <laughs> Kind of yes, sir. I'm. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm relishing the the harikata as a devotee. Also, I came a little late. At first, uh, my mind is still wandering. So, <coughs> so Gora Chandra is talking is very beautiful, and uh, he explained about. Uh, uh, about the mood of Masa and Manjari. Manjari tried to arrange, uh, to uh, arrange, to, to 
Swamini to see Moha, some or another. And also, <coughs> Swamini is directly in, di in, in directly watching how Moha is feeling, how, how tasting. And from beginning, <coughs> uh, Vibhava and uh, Udipana, so uh, they are discussing Goranga Sundara Prabhu, Gora Chandra Prabhu, uh, explained very nicely. At that time, I was, met, I was thinking, oh, actually, rasa is taste. So this taste, we need some ingredient, ingredient. So, and also, <coughs> Radha Mohan have spiritual senses, five sense, you know, perception. So, uh, Gora Sundara Prabhu, or maybe Gora Chandra Prabhu, saying, wind, jai, aroma of Swami. And then that aroma touches the Mohan's ear. He become like a living, like, a, like a, oh my God, this crazy, sometimes he fainted. So I was just meditating. All spiritual sense, or, 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 all Udipa is, is so, what to say, their sense power is increasing. They are feeling so increasing. Just like a cupid have five arrows and shooting each other. And then that kind of spiritual flavor feeling increasing, increasing. So just I was meditating Karma Gaitri as a vision of Manjari. So Manjari was watching Mohan and also Swami, how they reacting, how their spiritual feeling increasing, how Asa and Mohan, how feeling Baba, Radharani, Mahababa, but together that feeling is increasing. Oh my God, this is this is our as Manjari, we are seer. We could, we could feel, we could taste by the mercy of Goranga Mahaprabhu. Today is Gora Chandra speaking, and uh, you know, Gora Sundara is also speaking, and also Gora Sundara also speaking. So this Gora, by the mercy of Gora, our spiritual flavor, our spiritual feeling is increasing. And this, 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 this very nice, uh, let's say, this nice uh, basis, and uh, this increasing our spiritual feeling and spiritual flavor. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, to always feel and see everything from the uh, perspective of Manjari, no? then you can explain. Also, we can feel from Kama Gayatri all the feelings that the Manjari feels and we become fixed, become fixed in this feelings and everything we hear, we can feel in this way. I was also thinking and maybe uh, Gora Chandra will have time to, to read this because Mother Yashoda was bringing Krishna to meditate and then he meditate Radha, Radha, Radha. At the same time also he can, you know, all of his senses are transcendental. So he smells what's going on in the kitchen. He smells the beautiful pine wood and the aloe wood and the, the beautiful flavors coming from Rasa Bhakti. So he becomes very curious. And it's attracting him. All those smells that are coming are uh, for him, Udipan. He is now becoming eager to meet Swamini. And Manchuris also know this. 
and they have to prepare. They are not only in the kitchen. I think they want to prepare the next time where they can meet after she has uh, cooked so nicely. This time when we speak about Goranga, I had a, like a vision that Goranga came 500 years ago, but it was what Gurudev said, it was Swamini. And he came here like from another planet, from the spiritual planet, to invite us, to guide him or her to this spiritual planet. And if we follow the instructions, like in that manual we said, we just reading, we can really go to another spiritual abode. And this is the beauty. We only have to follow the instructions. And Gurudev is, uh, what to say, a servant of the servant of the servant of Marjorie. And this is also described some verses before we read two, three days ago, that there is a eternal liberated soul as a manjari coming and invited us. And so on. we, in this case, we are the servants of the servants of the servants. And so the way is clear and we can follow this. And uh, we can see really Mahaprabhu as our Swamini in that mood, who is inviting every one of us to guide her and to serve her, to increase this meeting with her, Krishna, Mohan, in a hidden place. So this is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing. One more thing I want to share. The manjari in the kitchen of Radha Rani, she feels the condition of Radha Rani. Mm. <laughs> Radharani, ah, she is condition. The Manjari feels the condition of Swamini in the kitchen. Ah, because many, many mother, mother and coward boy, sometimes father, they are Christian's father, they are so little bit. Right, right. She is a Nanda Gaon. She cannot meet Krishna directly. But she knows he is very near. And she cannot show anything. The only thing Radharani can do is put all the feelings in her cooking. Wow. And Manjari now, they can anticipate what will happen. <laughs> and Manjari already also is an ecstasy. She can see it coming. <laughs> Krishna will take this prasad and he will become mad of the feelings of Radharani what she put inside the prasad and what will happen next Samanjari will steal the remnants of Krishna and give it to Radharani when she is in separation. And then, maybe by mercy of Radharani, Manjari will also get the remnants of Radharani. Manjari already anticipating that because it happened before and greed is there <laughs> to have it again. 
and already ecstasy is there. They can feel it coming, but it's not close now. But <coughs> when it will happen, that already is there. Yadi? Krishna is happy. Then Krishna he cannot hear. <coughs> Krishna is very oh, tricky. Do okay. you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Krishna is very tricky because when Radhika is coming in Andishwara. This is the opportunity again to meet her. And during the time when Radhika is coming, he is waiting her in the front of the door. Then she is coming inside then Manjaris are preparing her in the kitchen in very nice, appropriate clothes and give Radhika different ingredients for cooking. But he is very tricky. He comes in the kitchen and gives her with his own hand ghee to Radhika. Baba is explaining here. Ghee means clarified butter. And what does it mean, clarify butter? Krishna is giving her heart, her love, her melting heart to Radhika. This is opportunity, and it said, Rai, Rai Shekara hands her the ghee. So he is giving his heart and he is very grateful to Radhika because she is giving him opportunity in the middle of the, his house in front of everyone to give her a heart. So as we remember, this is Karunya. Mercifulness of Radhika, Karunya Amrita. So this is the bathing of Radhika. She is so merciful to Krishna that she is giving him Amrita of her appearance. And this is very Karunya and also Kushala, auspicious. She is bathing because in her own mercifulness <clears throat> and she is bathing her maidservants she is also bathing the other inhabitants of Nandishwar Yashoda and Rohini she is bathing all Vrajavasis with her own appearance and Manjaris are very proud to see this Swamini in this position which she is giving ocean of Amrita to everyone special to her lover who is very tricky that no one can see, he is giving her, hence her, the key, melting heart of his own.
This is um I feel this is one of the most intense savers of the manjaris when they accompany Radharani to Nandishwar because nobody should know anything what is happening, but at the same time everything should happen without them noticing, but they are all present. As Karina Sundar said, they're all there, the elders are there. When they meet in the Kunja in the forest, they are not there. So there's much more freedom in exchange. But here, all are there, and everybody is sensing. At the same time, Manjuris had to cover everything, but nobody understands anything. Now, what happens also is that. Not only Radhika is craving for the remnants of Krishna, of Mohan's prasad, but also Mother Yashoda. She doesn't eat anything else than that was of her. Lala, now the mandras here again have to be very clever and tricky how they can steal that plate and make Mother Yashoda believe that she's eating, but at the same time they're bringing it to her, to Swami. <laughs> So it's so tricky there, it's so tricky and intense. Manjuris have to be so much alert in the daytime, <laughs> no? To protect Swamini and protect this sacred love of the love, with the secret love. And then comes the butter, <laughs> how he will give the key to her, you know? This is something we have to meditate, where are we in this moment, what we have to do. So it's a very intense, Moment for Manjur is no guru. We have to be always alert that no ob obstacles can be there for their meeting. Now I understand it's just, and actually, it's a secret service. Yeah. <laughs> Manjur is <laughs> our secret service in the spiritual world. <laughs> Conspiration crew. There is all is hidden. Nothing is open. But this time, no good. <coughs> this clock is wrong. We have, we have to one thing. <laughs> one day, I'm listening to the picture. Uh, Minol Baba. One song, uh, one past time, he is explaining. So Krishna was, he, Krishna, he was very interested to do something because Radharani is coming. So he arranged to distribute food for all, Brajvas. Very opulent, like the uh, tanks, and he himself distributed. Who bring the big pot, he pull the pot. Mm. Who has the small pot, he pull the pot. Mm. Who comes with how Krishna is giving, giving, giving. And after some time, Radharani comes. When he see that Krishna is there, so see, he stopped with his Madhuris. And Krishna is doing, he is also happy that she is looking at him. But, and he is giving to everyone who comes, child come, old man come, young man come, everyone he is giving on and on and on. Never stop. And many Brajivasis are bringing, bringing and he is giving. And when Radharani comes with Manjari, he starts crying. Mm -hmm. not Baba. And he cried two, three minutes. You she see Krishna is giving 
to everyone. If he has a small pot, big pot, and she I was red, he is not happy to see that. Krishna worried, why? Rather, he is not worried, happy. And he is trying to see mercy, not talk anything. After, three minutes after, some Mandiri went and said to Krishna, Are, you cannot give this part, my Swami, give part also. <laughs> and the, Fear the pot he do. You are giving without pot. Where he will store, he has a small pot. You give that. So she is not happy that you are giving it like this. Then he understands and he ordered to bring golden pots, big, big, to everyone to give. So Radharani is creating pot also. This patra to us in my life and give feeling that part of mm. This is Radha Mercy. Krishna Mercy is that how much you have to <laughs> part, he feel that part. He feels good. <laughs> but Radha give part, bigger part to you in life. And feel the joy. This is our So we are living in the Vrindavan, and who is the queen of Vrindavan? Is Radhika, not Krishna. The out of Vrindavan is a Krishna empire, <laughs> but is. In the Vrindavan is a Radha Empire. So Maya Sakti cannot affect her in Vrindavan. Your Maya Sakti is covered. Mm -hmm. If you land here, Maya Sakti cannot influence you. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.